Good evening, YouTubers. It's been a while since I've done a video game. Well, it's my first time a video game pickup. Ta-da! Oh, by the way, I got new plushies. Well, I had it stored in my closet, and I found it. So I got a Snorlax, Diglett, and the two original Bubble Storm and Gengar. So I found this guy inside of my closet, and I didn't even know I had him, because... When I moved, I put everything in a box and I taped it up and they just put it in my closet. But then I was curious to see, you know, um, what I had in, in my closet, in my box. And then I had a Diggly. I got this at the New York Nintendo of America here in New York City. Not here, but, you know, in New York City. I live in Virginia and it's close, like four hours away. Then Bubble Star and Gengar. And this awesome... <laughs> Snorlax, he's awesome. I love it. Yeah, boy. I got him at GameStop. This Bubble Star, I think I got him at Target. And this Gengar, I got him at uh, Toys R Us. So, I will get more plushies, which are in here. There's one plushie in here, but it's not related to Pokemon, but it's related to video games. So, let's get on started. So, this, voila, check this out. Super Mario Hot Wheels Mario. Yoshi and Mario. I'm gonna look out for Yoshi. I do have Mario, so I saw it and why not? It's a really game related. Oh, just gotta clean it up. Perfect. Okay. So about these. Well, I got this at my local. Well, not the video game store that I go to, but I just got these at Target. I did an unboxing of Bulbasaur, so I did get Squirtle and Charmander. They were there, I was so happy. I've been going to three different targets and I can't, wouldn't find them. And luckily I found Charmander and Squirtle. So I have all the three starters, the original, which that's all I need. <laughs> I don't wanna get addicted to buying all these cause it costs money. They're $8 each and you know, it's a good investment, but just, Three starter is perfect enough. So I'll be doing a video unboxing these two separately on the layer state. Okay. And I got this at GameStop. Ha ah, this is the plus that I'm talking about. This will be going on top of my Xbox One. This is a beautiful banana. It's from the Mario Kart games. Or is it Donkey Kong? It's the Mario Kart games when you get the banana, he just throws it. Whoop. And then the cards, <laughs> if he hits it, he goes spinning. So that was awesome. You know, I have a membership of the GameStop Pro membership reward. Uh, I'm a loyalty membership for them. They were, every month, they give out a $5 promotion discount gift card. So I used it, and I got this little guy. So I'm happy with that purchase. Why not? And I saw him. I was like, you know what? Look, you're so happy. How can you not resist? How can you not say no? So, moving along, now let's get to the games. This is what I purchased at my local video game retail that they just opened up. So first, let's get, voila, Pokemon Fire Red. Um, where's my Game Boy? Does this one have the battery? Give me one second, sorry guys, I should have prepared this, but yeah, it has a perfect. Okay, so, give me one second. If anybody remembers, back in the day, Pokemon Red was the original release. Well, in Japanese, it was Pokemon Red and Green. But then on the West Coast in the United States, we got Red and Blue. So he had this in stock. Um, yeah, the video game store is called Super Bit Video Games. Unfortunately, he doesn't have an online website yet. But right now, he after you know, the pandemics of the coronavirus, he's focusing on the local area. And then later on, hopefully, business gets up. He'll be able to provide you uh, online website purchases. And for that, in the meantime, you know, there are other places that you can visit. I'll put a link that there's one video YouTube uh, retro game store that I follow. It's Cooper, I believe. But I'll, I'll put a link underneath you so you can check it out. So let's get with this one, Pokemon Fire Red. I was so happy to find this. There was a lot of them, but this one has the perfect shape. You know, there's nothing 
no scratches on no tear wear on the images and it was pokemon red it was just staring at me so i just had to get it and of course it was 25 bucks but he changed the battery and these are pretty rare to come by especially if it's a legit copy because nowadays they make some fake you could tell by the number i don't know if you can see it but i've been doing my research there's the two two all right here's my game boy oh and <laughs> when i want this is my game Boy color so i will be playing this is my old super mario land i will be playing this here of course and you know you do need batteries so i was i was on my local target and how to get some batteries because i don't have a rechargeable uh battery for my game boy color yet and these typically do run oh look at that i'm sorry these last for i don't know how many hours four hours or i don't know oh no it doesn't have the volume oh yeah it does i'm sorry pokemon fire red so let's continue the game player aj one of my favorite wrestlers, AJ Styles. So let's see if he has any starter Pokemon yet. Or... Oh no, something's up. You can't select the Pokemon, why not? What is going on? You could save. But for some reason, you can't select on the Pokemon. Oh, because <laughs> there is no Pokemon, I'm sorry. He doesn't have a Pokemon. Did he get the potion? No, he didn't get the potion out. This is so classic. OMG. Brings back so wonderful memories. You don't have any Pokemon. Of course you don't. Aww. Definitely looking forward to this. AJ is playing the SNES. Okay. It's time to go. Well, anyways... I'll play that another day. All right now, let me focus on these unboxing. So, all right, that's game number one. Then game number two, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for the Wii. So as I was doing cleaning my closet, I did find my Wii in the box, locked up. And I got so excited, I was like, wow, I have my Wii. I, I forgot that I even had the Wii. And it was one of the rarest consoles to get back in the days when it was launched. I remember my aunt and my cousin, they hooked it up with one of their friends who worked at Best Buy at the time. Oh my gosh, look at that, it's been a while. So one of my, my, my aunt's friend, he worked at a Best Buy. He told them to hook, to put me a wee Cause you know how these were hard to get when it was first launched. It was sold out everywhere. Oh, I'll be quiet and just, just for you the guys to focus on this. Wow. Is that the Club Nintendo? No, no, that's something else. <gasps> it even has a manual. Oh my goodness. Nintendo, they don't do this no more. Usually not even gamers, developers put this on their games manual, on the booklet, on their, yeah, on the box. OMG, this has a manual and it's so colorful. Look at that. Minna, that's her name. So yeah, my aunt had a friend who worked at Best Buy and you know, they would have hooked it up. She, she told him if they could hold a Wii for her nephew, which is me. And of course they did, bless their heart. And that Wii that I have right now in my closet put away is the same one that I, that I got from my aunt from Best Buy. Of course I had a pair of bags but definitely it was worth it because I was how old was I? Maybe I was around 12, 11 and I was lucky enough to get a Wii when they were on launch because you couldn't get a Wii. Either you had to wait in line overnight midnight launch um, to get yourself a Wii. And this was my first game that I purchased. On top of that, I didn't even have a Wii. I went to go purchase this game by itself because I told myself this would be the first game that I'll buy when I get my Wii. And it was the first game I bought, <laughs> even though I didn't have a Wii. So that's a game that I've always been in my heart. 
Right, that's awesome. Second, this is the last game that I picked up. Super Mario Galaxy. Yes, for that beautiful price. And it's in great condition. OMG. Man, I sold most of my Wii games when I was young. I was young and dumb. Of course, I sold it to GameStop. I believe at the time, I sold all my games for a PS3 or an, yeah, I think it was a PS3. No, no, it was for an Xbox 360. I, I don't know what it was, but I remember I sold all of my Wii games. So I'm really been back to my childhood and luckily that video game store, retro store, uh, super bit video games had this in stock. So I will be on the hunt for Super Mario Galaxy, Galaxy 2. But in the meantime, wow, look at that. Once I beat this game, I'll pick up the sequel. <gasps> wow. See, Nintendo, you guys need to come back with all these beautiful, colorful booklets. The nunchucks. That's why I had to get batteries, because the Wiimote is not chargeable like the PS4 or the Xbox. Oh, I'm sorry, the PS4 or Xbox, you have to still get the batteries, but you have to buy a rechargeable unit. So for the Wii, I had to get the batteries, because... I don't have a rechargeable unit cartridge to put in my back of the Wii. Wow, this is so colorful. You don't see this nowadays. OMG. Come on, video game. Look, they're even different languages. Like, really? This was worth it. I think it was three different languages. Yes, it was three. Oh, my goodness. Nintendo, why did you stop making manual booklet? Oh. Well... It is what it is. So that's beautiful. And I'm so happy I got this. So I will be picking up a lot of Wii games. But first I must complete the games because that's the thing about me is when I get a new game, I play it for a, a minute for, I don't even complete the game. I just play half of the game, half of the story mode. And then when I go out and buy more video games, I play the new games. And then I leave the old games there just without completing the levels, without beating the story, story line. So there you have it, my folks. I got my awesome Pokemon Red, Zelda, Twilight Princess, and Super Mario Galaxy, all on my local Super Bit video game retro store. So, what else can I say? Thank you very much for watching. I hope everybody's having a beautiful day. Today is Sunday. So hope you had a great weekend. And let's have a great week coming up. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. May God be with you. Be happy. And thanks for the support. Thanks, guys. Take care.